So I opened up the box and this is literally what it looks like in here. It's like everything works. This instruction manual is, doesn't actually have anything. This is for like the remote for this screen. So I think there's a wiring diagram online. I'm gonna go based off of that, hook up everything in the living room and then go from there. At this point, I pretty much have everything hooked up. It looks pretty wild. It's just extremely disorganized. So I just have this extra battery here just to hook up the uh, stuff that's supposed to go to positive and negative. These are the cameras right here. And then this is the screen. So basically what I'm gonna do is mount the cameras outside wherever it will be able to see both sides of the van. And then this screen is gonna be mounted on the inside. I'm gonna make like a little electronics panel that's gonna have screens like this, battery monitors and stuff like that. But when you hit the power button, it takes a second to come on, it brings up the screen and then it's just basically super simple. It just has a uh, an AV1 and AV2 for the camera one and camera two. So it's pulling out the screen for one of those and then when I hit this switcher button then it's showing me now because the other camera is facing right at me and then it also comes with this remote I mean you can switch screens on it and it's kind of like iffy sometimes like you gotta press it like two or three times but you can also like change the angle of the camera hooking up the cameras themselves was actually not that bad my battery is all the way in the back of my van and I'm gonna have the screen for this all the way in the front of my van so I gotta run to the store real quick and grab some primary wire Well, I just got to Lowe's and picked up the stuff I needed, but then it started pouring down raining again. So I don't know when I'll actually be able to install all this stuff. Might have to wait till tomorrow because if you guys haven't been watching my videos recently, I have just been struggling with this rain lately. It's like, it seems like it rains like every single day around 3 p.m. Getting worse. Honestly, if it was not for this rain, I might be done with the van by now. But no, I'm dealing with this.
I'm gonna give my final review of this entire system. How do I put this simply? Well, the system was not simple at all. It was not easy to install at all, and that's for a few specific reasons. First of all, there was no instructions in the system, which is okay. I can go straight off a wiring diagram, no problem. But the thing is that I usually like to do things as simple as possible, and I like to do it so that it's easy enough that anyone who's brand new, a straight up beginner, should be able to do it. I actually ran into the issue that some of the wires were so thin that in between the tubing, I guess I pulled it too hard or maybe it came like that already, but inside of the tubing, a positive and negative wire ended up touching each other and fried half of the system all the way up to the fuse. Once that was fried, all I could do was replace that entire section that got burned which was honestly probably more than half of the system. So I had to go to the store, get a thicker gauge wire, and replace all that stuff. The thing is a beginner, like somebody who has never worked with electrical stuff before, would probably not be able to go through and decipher all that stuff and redo it. The one thing that I do need to say though is that once it's actually installed, the system works well. But the thing is getting to that point is a lot more difficult than it needs to be and there's a lot of other more simple ways to get to that point. So if I was going to do surveillance cameras again, and I am going to do them again in the next build that I do, I would start with two separate cameras from a different system that's easier to use. For example, this box right here is the box from the backup camera that I'm going to be installing in this van, and this is the same one that I installed in the first van build that I did, and it's drastically easier to use. All of the wire is significantly thicker, it's more organized, the instructions are actually here, make sense, I have the wiring diagrams right here in the system. I would just buy separate cameras like this, and then I would just buy a separate screen and a splitter so that you could view each one, which is a little bit more in-depth and requires a little bit more know-how, but the thing is, with that system that had everything in there already, it, it was not nearly as simple as it should have been, so you'd be better off just going ahead and making your own system. So I'm gonna end up linking the system that I installed, but I'm also going to link a few other options because honestly, if you're a complete beginner, I would not recommend that system. It is cheap, which is good, and it does work well once it's installed, but installing it was a pain. Take that all with a grain of salt. That's my final review of this thing. Thank you guys for watching this all the way to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed the video or learned something. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but you guys will be seeing me in the next video. So, see you soon.